Relax, Song Relax is the debut single by Frankie Goes to Hollywood, released in the United Kingdom by ZTT Records in 1983. The song was later included on the album Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, 1984. Although fairly inauspicious upon initial release, Relax finally reached number one on the UK Singles Chart on January 22, 1984, ultimately becoming one of the most controversial and most commercially successful records of the decade. The single eventually sold a reported 2 million copies in the UK alone, making it the seventh best-selling single in the UK Singles Chart's history. Following the release of the group's second single, Two Tribes, Relax rallied from a declining UK chart position during June 1984 to climb back up the UK charts and reattain number two spot behind Two Tribes at number one, representing simultaneous chart success by a single act, not achieved since the early 1960s. Upon release in the United States in late 1984, Relax repeated its slow UK progress, reaching number 67 upon initial release, but eventually reaching number 10 in March 1985. The song won Best British Single at the 1985 Brit Awards. The song featured on the soundtrack to T2 Train Spotting and also in the game in the fictional in game radio station Wave 103. Singer Holly Johnson has claimed that the words of the song came to him as he was walking down Princess Avenue in Liverpool. I mean, they were just, you know, words that floated into my head one day when I was walking down Princess Avenue in Liverpool, with no bus fare trying to get to rehearsals, I mean there was no great sort of calculated, oh I'll sing these words and this record will be banned. ZTT Records signed Frankie Goes to Hollywood after producer turned ZTT co-founder Trevor Horn saw the band play on the television show The Tube, on which the group played an early version of Relax. Horn described the original version of Relax as more a jingle than a song, but he preferred to work with songs that were not professionally finished because he could then fix them up in his own style. Once the band was signed, ZTT co-founder Paul Morley mapped out the marketing campaign fashioned as a strategic assault on pop. Morley opted to tackle the biggest possible themes in the band's singles, sex, war, religion, of which Relax would be the first, and emphasized the shock impact of Frankie members Holly Johnson's and Paul Rutherford's open homosexuality in the packaging and music videos. Horn dominated the recording of Relax in his effort for perfectionism. The band were overawed and intimidated by Horn's reputation and thus were too nervous to make suggestions. Johnson said in his autobiography, whatever he said we went along with. When attempts to record with the full band proved unsatisfactory, Horn hired former Ian Dury backing band The Blockheads for the sessions, with Norman Watroy providing the original bass line. Those sessions were later deemed to be not modern sounding enough. Horn then constructed a more electronic based version of the song with keyboards by session musician Andy Richards and with rhythm programming assistance from JJ Jexalik of Art of Noise. Horn developed this version of the recording in his West London studio while the band remained in their hometown of Liverpool. Horn had made three versions of Relax prior to Richards and guitarist Stephen Lipson joining his ETT production theme in late 1983. Horn left the studio late one night asking for Lipson to erase the multi track, a version 3, due to lack of progress, but came back into the studio some time later to hear Richards playing a variety of modal chords based around the key of E minor with Lipson playing guitar along to the unerased multitrack. Ultimately, lead vocalist Johnson was the only band member to perform on the record, the only contribution by the other members was a sample crafted from the sound of the rest of the band jumping into a swimming pool. Horn explained years later, I was just. Look, relax had to be a hit. Despite the band's absence from the record, Horn said, I could never have done these records in isolation. There was no actual playing by the band, but the whole feeling came from the band. Horn completed the recording having spent £70,000 in studio time. Morley intentionally courted scandal with the promotion of Relax. ZTT initiated the ad campaign for Relax with two quarter-page ads in the British music press. The first ad featured images of Rutherford in a sailor cap and a leather vest, and Johnson with a shaved head and rubber gloves. The images were accompanied by the phrase All the nice boys love seamen and declared Frankie goes to Hollywood are coming, making Duran Duran lick the shit off their shoes, 19 inches that must be taken always. The second ad promised Theories of Bliss, a history of Liverpool from 1963 to 1983, a guide to Amsterdam bars. When first released in November 1983, the initial progress of Relax on the UK Top 75 was sluggish. First charting at number 67, 
by its seventh week on the chart it had progressed only to number 35, even falling back slightly during that time. But then on Thursday January 5, 1984, Frankie Goes to Hollywood performed Relax on the BBC flagship television chart show, Top of the Pops. The following week it soared to number 6. On January 11, 1984, Radio 1 disc jockey Mike Reed expressed on air his distaste for both the record's suggestive sleeve, designed by Anna Von Gilbert, and its lyrics, which centered on the oft-repeated relax, don't do it slash when you want to suck to it slash relax, don't do it slash when you want to come. He announced his refusal to play the record, not knowing that the BBC had just decided that the song was not to be played on the BBC anyway. In support of their disc jockey, BBC Radio banned the single from its shows it reported two days later, although certain prominent nighttime BBC shows including those of Kid Jensen and John Peel, continued to play the record, as they saw fit, throughout 1984. The now banned Relax rose to number two in the charts by 17th of January, and hit the number one spot on 24th of January. By this time, the BBC radio ban had extended to Top of the Pops as well which displayed a still picture of the group during its climactic number one announcement, before airing a performance by a non-number one artist. This went on for the five weeks that Relax was at number one. It then began a slow decline on the charts, falling back as far as number 31 in May 1984 before returning to number two in July whilst Frankie's follow-up single Two Tribes held the UK number one spot. In the end, Relax remained on the top 75 for 48 consecutive weeks and returned in February 1985 for four more, giving a total of 52. The band became an embarrassment for the BBC, especially given that UK commercial radio and television stations were still playing the song. Later in 1984, the band was lifted and Relax featured on both the Christmas Day edition of Top of the Pops and Radio One's rundown of the best selling singles of the year. Throughout the Relax controversy, the band continued to publicly deny that the song's lyrics were sexual. Nevertheless, by 1984, it was clear that the public were very aware of the sexual nature of the lyrics, but the scandal had fueled sales anyway. In 1985, with the release of the Welcome to the Pleasure Dome album which included Relax, the band dropped any public pretense about the lyrics the track was reissued in September 1993. The first of a string of Frankie Goes to Hollywood singles to be reissued that year. It debuted at a high number six on the UK singles chart and peaked at number five the next week. It spent seven weeks on the top 75 this time, thus extending its combined total to 59, making it the third longest runner of all time. Seven other singles have since surpassed it, now it is in joint 10th place. Although the 7 inch version of the single remained unchanged throughout its initial release, a mix generally known as Relax, Move, promotional 7-inch records featuring a substantially different mix of Relax, entitled either The Last 7 Inches or Warp Mix because it is a compilation of other versions, were the subject of a limited 1984 release. Three principal 12-inch remixes of Relax were eventually created by producer Trevor Horan. One of the reasons we did all the remixes was that the initial 12-inch version of Relax contained something called the Sex Mix, which was 16 minutes long and didn't even contain a song. It was really Holly Johnson just jamming, as well as a bunch of samples of the group jumping in the swimming pool and mess sort of making disgusting noises by dropping stuff into buckets of water. We got so many complaints about it, particularly from gay clubs, who found it offensive, that we cut it in half and reduced it down to 8 minutes, by taking out some of the slightly more offensive parts, this became the New York mix. Then we got another load of complaints, because the single version wasn't on the 12-inch, I didn't see the point in this at the time but I was eventually put straight about it. Horn attested that visits to New York's Paradise Garage Club led to the creation of the final Relax, U.S. Mix, which ultimately replaced the original Sex Mix, New York Mix releases. It was only when I went to this club and heard the sort of things they were playing that I really understood about 12-inch remixes. Although I myself had already had a couple of big 12-inch hits, I'd never heard them being played on a big sound system. And so I then went back and mixed it relax again and that was the version which sold a couple of million over here, in the UK. The original 12-inch version of Relax, labeled Sex Mix, ran for over 16 minutes, and is broadly as described by Horn above. The subsequent New York mix was an 8-minute plus edit of the Sex Mix, and can only be distinguished by having 12 ices one etched on the vinyl. The final 12-inch mix, 
containing no elements from the foregoing versions, was designated the U.S. mix, and ran for approximately 7.20. This was the most commonly available 12-inch version of Relax during its worldwide 1984 chart success. The UK cassette single featured as the title track a unique amalgam of excerpts from the Sex Mix, US Mix, Move and an instrumental version of Move. Since virtually all of the UK relaxed 12-inch singles were labeled Sex Mix, a method of differentiating between versions by reference to the record's matrix numbers necessarily became de rigueur for collectors of Frankie Goes to Hollywood releases, and ultimately collectors of ZTT records in general. Relax, Come Fighting was the version of the song included on the Welcome to the Pleasure Dome album. This is ostensibly a variant of the 7-inch single move mix, but readily distinguishable from it in many ways. For example, the move mix fades in on a foghorn-type sound while the album mix fades ye known sustained synth chords. Also, the backing vocals of the move mix are panned to the left, whereas they are mixed in the center on the album version. Additionally, the move mix features a prominent reverberated kick drum sound during the introduction that also appears in other parts of the song, which is completely absent from the album mix. The album mix also has a certain post-production sheen, greater stereo separation of parts, more strategic uses of reverb, etc., that is absent from the original 1983 7-inch single mix. The later 1993 classic mix reissue is almost identical to the Come Fighting album version. The original airing of Relax on the Tube, before the band were signed to ZTT, featured another verse that was edited from all the released versions, In Heaven Everything Is Fine, You've Got Yours and I've Got Mine, presumably removed as it was taken directly from the David Lynch film Eraserhead. The 7-inch featured one September Monday, an interview between ZTT's Paul Morley, Holly Johnson, and Paul Rutherford. During the interview, Holly revealed that the group's name derived from a page of the New Yorker magazine. Headline Frankie Goes to Hollywood and featuring Frank Sinatra getting mobbed by teeny boppers. On all of the original 12-inch releases, the B-side featured a cover of Ferry Cross the Mersey, followed by a brief dialogue involving Rutherford attempting to sign on, and an a cappella version of the title track's chorus, segueing into an instrumental version of Relax, known as From Soft to Heart. From Soft to Heart has the same structure as the 7-inch move mix, but is not simply an instrumental of this mix. The UK cassette single included Ferry Cross the Mersey and interview sections not included on one September Monday. The first official video for Relax, directed by Bernard Rose and set in the S&M theme gay nightclub, featuring the band members accosted by Buff Leatherman, a glamorous drag queen, and an obese admirer dressed up as a Roman emperor, was allegedly banned by MTV and the BBC, prompting the recording of a second video, directed by Godley and Krem in early 1984 featuring the group performing with the help of laser beams. However, after the second video was Medithi's song was banned completely by the BBC, meaning that neither video was ever broadcast on any BBC music programs. A live performance video with the song was directed by David Mallet, making the rounds at MTV. Another MTV video of the studio version includes footage from the Brian De Palma film Body Double. Body Double, a popular 1984 erotic thriller film, contains a film within a film sequence in which Frankie goes to Hollywood performs relax on the set of a porn film. The title track has periodically been reissued as a single in a number of remix forms. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.